Hello, good afternoon, everyone. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. I'm trying to just fix this right here. I'm going to wait till you guys get on. And um, let me know if it's clear. Let me know if it's clear while I'm fixing this actually. Praise God. Praise God. All righty. Praise God. So just let me know, you guys, um, if you can hear me and if it's clear. Please, I need, I need someone to press clear. Say clear. Praise God. I pray that you're having a great blessed day. I myself, yes, yes, yes. Praise God. Praise God. Mm, I'm not seeing anything at all. All right. So, um, okay. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca Davis. God bless you and blesses upon you, my sister. Well, I have a lot of information to give you because I didn't, um, I was supposed to be on here like a couple of times, but whoo, warfare, it's real, but that's all right. Because God is real. Come on, somebody. More than that. So I pray that you tag right now and share because I'm telling you, I'm full of the spirit. I'm talking about just came out of prayer where, honestly, I'm very transparent. I hadn't prayed like that since maybe 1996. I'm talking about the prayer. The persons of God was... Uh, I can't even explain. It was the glory. It was the Shekinah glory. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You don't see that no more these days because people, they haven't been broken. Let me let me tell you why I don't mind being broke, broken. Because when you're broken in spirit and have a contrite heart, come on, somebody. When you're going through something, that's when, when you see, you must be broken in order to carry that anointing that God wants you to carry. Oh, you don't hear me. A lot of, let, let, me, let me tell you what church folks are saying. Church folks are saying, oh, they're going through something. They, they must not be right. But what they don't understand is, oh, no. Oh, baby, I'm actually all right because God is getting ready to take out something and put in something. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying? Yes, I'm on one. You better take somebody because I'm full of the spirit. Hallelujah. I mean it. God is doing something when you're broken. And when you're broken, that means submission. Come on, God, do what you got to do. Because I know I got to go to that next level. Don't let nothing stop me. Not even me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm getting off track here because I'm full of that anointing. So let me calm myself down hmm i'm on when i'm serious i feel the holy ghost hallelujah but i gotta stay on track and y'all know why so if you look at the heading it says the church is missing the signs of the times yes they are what's happening is we have a church that wait till something is happening and say we gotta pray i'm i'm in come on on my post um where it says that um 7,000 churches fasting, praying over terrifying new persecution law. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I told y'all three years ago this was coming. So you should have been praying because I've been praying and they never stopped. I don't care. Even if I didn't see it, I'm praying because that is the way the church was actually built up in the tabernacle days. We prayed before it came. We didn't pray when it came. Uh, the church in trouble. Yes, we in trouble as a church. So it says um, that. Russian President Vladimir Putin signed an anti-terrorism law. And really, I want y'all to remember another word. What is that word, Father God? Um, resistance. It's going to be resistance. Because th these new words, you, you have to listen to these new words. Because everything is going to be, it's all persecution. But you have to listen to the words because they're calling it terrorists now. So anyway, you already know he's communism. But this is actually coming. It's already here in the United States. Let's just be real. You guys just don't want to believe it because guess what? You've been having your freedom for so long. You have taken it for granted. But don't worry because you're getting ready to get it. I'm just being real. Slavery is coming back whether you like it or not. I have a lot to say, so let me stay on um, target. So this is the new rules of going to be in Russia. Foreign guests are not permitted to speak in churches unless they have a work permit mm, from Russian authorities. If a friend or relative from outside of Russia wishes to share his or her faith in their home, the guest will be fined and expelled from Russia. Okay. Any discussion, discussion of God with non-believers is considered mission, missionary activity and will be punishable. Missionary activity will be permitted by special government position. Permission. Example, if one is traveling on a train and shares his fate without permission, the offender will be taken into police custody of the duration of the journey and will be fined $50,000. Do you understand what I just said? Offenders from the age of 14 years old will be subject to persecution. Religious activity is no longer permitted in private homes because in most churches they, in Russia, they meet in the homes. Every citizen is obligated to report religious activity of neighbors to the authorities. Failure to be an informant is punishable by law. I want you to know that one right there is already in the United States. And if you don't believe me, I'm bold like this. I'm crazy like this. 
ask my next door neighbor. Oh, I'm, I'm, it's not about me tonight, so I can't do that. But y'all don't understand. I, I, I'm like, well, why are they always leaving their window open? Two, three, four o'clock in the morning. And that's a, supposed to be a woman that sleeps up in their room. Ain't no woman do that. Because, you, you know, rapers, anything could get in. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all hear what I'm saying? That one is already in the USA. That's why I keep telling y'all. And, and, you know, I know y'all don't believe it because it hasn't hit you in the face yet. They're watching you. This is the time. This is the Antichrist time. There's nothing we can do. People say, well, you know, we have to pray. You know what? We should have been praying. I've been praying. And, and, and there's a lot of others that have been praying. Well, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Um, let me know that it didn't freeze because I'm not seeing movement anymore. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And then I need you to talk to me. All right. Then it says, one may read your Bible at home, but not in the presence of a non-believer. Can you believe that? Not in the presence of a non-believer. Person, you will be breaking the law and it will be punishable. If the church has purchased property, it cannot be converted into a place of worship. You don't hear what I'm saying. In church buildings, it is not permitted to invite people to turn to God. Worship services are permitted, but not but making a non-believer a follower of Christ is against the law. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So in response, now people are saying, okay, uh, the church is appalled of the news of the new law, about 7,000. First of all, we are ready on the fast. And I pray that just because I've been going through a lot of warfare, I hope y'all stay on that fast because this is our sixth day. Don't you dare break that fast. Come on, somebody. I told y'all that it would be. I told you. And, and, and I'm not just saying it to say, oh, I told you. I'm trying to get you the body of Christ to another level because of the fact that's where I'm at right now. Come on, somebody. I'm mandated by God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter who don't believe. It's it matters who do believe because God said I have 7,000 that have not bowed down to Baal. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and, and come to think of it, I, I want y'all to listen to this. 7,000 evangelical pro Protestant churches are fasting. I'm going to say something and it's going to seem like whatever. See Charisma News? They, 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 they kind of did this right now. Remember how God, the scripture say, I have 7,000 that have not bowed down to Baal. Anything to sell news, to sell Whatever they selling. Yeah, I, I put anybody on blast. I don't care. Because when I feel that you did it because of that, I'm going to put you on blast. And you can say what you want to say. So let me get to what I'm saying. My people, my people. And this is what thus said the Lord. It is coming. You have not prepared yourself. You have not prepared the way. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said persecution is coming. Do you not understand? This is all under martial law. Martial law is already here. It just hasn't been enforced, people. God said, my people, my people. He keeps saying, my people, my people. You perish for lack of knowledge. You perish for lack of spirit. The church in America is so worldly, God says. You run after everything but him. He said, and this should not be. Hallelujah. And this is a thus said the Lord. We, we it's like they're everybody concocting something come on somebody you concocting something to make money you concocting something it is all about a platform everybody want a platform don't y'all understand that there's only one platform and god say that is a sin to build on another's platform there's only jesus christ platform so the you that think you have a platform you really don't it's a facade baby come on somebody you worldly let me let me explain to you what has happened with the church and, and with the whole world to be honest with you they did just like they Satan did just like he did Jesus when he got he's put him on that pinnacle and he said in Matthew he said if thou will bow down and worship me then thou should have anything of these kingdoms how many times you hear somebody say especially in the world especially in Hollywood especially the rappers I'm building my kingdom and some of y'all said too you ain't got no kingdom because you didn't die for no kingdom how you doing that's a lie before God. And you don't even see the enemy playing you. He playing you like he tried to play Jesus. But Jesus said, it is written, Satan. Hallelujah. It's written. And some of you are not in your Bible so you don't understand what you're adding, what you're doing. The church is in trouble. The church is in trouble. The church is in trouble, God say. Mm -mm -mm, my God, my God. Then you got apostles. Fake prophets. Fake apostles, fake bishops, not telling the people of God that you are about to be persecuted. Not telling the people of God that martial law is already here, just hasn't been enforced. Not telling the people of God they're coming in your homes. They're going to take the Bible. They're going to take you if you're real. Oh, my God, my God, my God. I don't care if I got to stand alone for this. You don't hit me. 
It don't matter if I'm the only voice in the wilderness. I'm going to shout it out because on that day, on judgment day, I will not hear why you didn't say what I told you to say. Hallelujah. Now, I know that most of y'all signed that. I'm talking to the leaders. Now, I know most of y'all signed that thing for FEMA. And that's why you're scared. Because you, you didn't read the fine print. Because if you do it, if you break that contract, they're coming after you and your family. So it's almost like a mafia thing. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying today. See, I ain't signed no contract. And I don't care about my life. Hallelujah. Because God say, oh, come on, somebody. Those that lose their life should gain their life. And those that try to spare their life should lose their life. Y'all scared. And I can't believe it. I cannot believe. The, the, I'm, not, I'm not talking about famous ones, too, that y'all love to run behind. Scared to tell people the truth. Scared because you might look crazy. Scared because they might, they might you know, um, ostracize you. Ostracize me, baby. Because I don't care. The blood would not be on my hands. But on yours, man of God. Woe unto you, God say. Woe unto you, God says. Hallelujah. You see, we go back to the beginning of this thing. The early church didn't care because they knew one thing. They had to die in order for others to live. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So the next generation can go on and on and say what thus said the Lord. But now this generation, and I'm just going to call it like I see it, get mad if y'all won't. We have a bunch of jelly backs, yellow backs that don't want to die because they scared. And you know why you're scared? Because you honor man more than God. Because when you honor God, God say who he stands before God can stand before anybody. That's why he's scared, by the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm all, yes, I'm on one. Hallelujah. Because this stuff is here. If you think it's just in Russia, let me tell you, and I told y'all last week, and I told y'all in two, in, for these two weeks, I'm going to say some stuff that's going to make you cringe, and I'm getting ready to start like right now. Your president have sold you for naught. That man who has never been for this country. This man, they, they, they had that plan 15, 20 years ago that he would be in office. But some of you are so smart. That you don't even go see God on what I'm saying. Oh, oh, I don't care if he was black, white, Indian, red, y'all are color, purple. I don't care. Devil is a devil is a devil. And now let, let me break this thing down for you. Who world is this? Who world is this? This is Satan's world. How could you not know, church, where we at and what we doing and what time is it? Because you don't want to know and you're scared yourself. Because you know you might start experiencing some of the stuff I experienced. Oh, come on, somebody. You scared? It's only the anointing. That's why some of y'all don't want to go to the next level because you know them people going to come. Oh, yeah. That, oh, yes. Oh, yes. They're going to tap your phone. They're going to come to your home. They're going to get people to spy on you for a little money. Oh, yeah. Everybody don't want to go through nothing. But you, you, you want to serve God, but you don't want to die for God. You want to serve God, but you don't want to sacrifice for God. God says in Timothy, endure hardness as a good soldier. We ain't got no soldiers. Oh, come on, somebody. We got some yellow backs, jelly backs. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. These people, they ain't coming. They're here. This stuff is getting ready to go down. And the sad part, you, you, you know who I hurt for? I hurt for the sinners, the one that don't know, because they, not, they just doing their thing. They don't know. But now God says, hold on now. It could only go for so long, because even a child have a little wisdom. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me give you an example of a child. You ever saw a, a baby when they get ready to do something, they'll look around? Because they perceive what they're doing is wrong. Oh, come on, somebody. So, so by the spirit, you still guilty too. Or you don't hear what I'm saying. This, I, I, I'm telling you, this stuff is coming. Well, my words. And, 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 and I'm telling you. My God, my God. See, I'm going here tonight. I'm ready. I've been preparing for this for three years. So they can't scare me. And even when they come get me, and they will. I'll die for Christ without a blink of the eye. You should be preparing yourselves because this is what's coming. You can't pray it away. You can't say, oh, that's gloom and doom. You can say whatever you want. Scripture must be fulfilled, say it, the Lord. Who are you to question God? And then some of you are so arrogant. Oh, we got to. We could, yeah, you ain't reading your Bible. That, that's flesh. Sit down. There ain't number flesh. Because everybody knows in the spirit what's coming. The true Christians. I mean they even know the movies. They're showing you in the movies. I told y'all to get pure flex. Even, even all those Christians know. Some New world order. The, that, that mark. That chip. That's the mark of the beast. You, you, what? You don't, you, oh okay I get it. 
I'm not ready to handle that. And that's what God told me. He said, some of you have became so worldly. You like this world. You don't want it to end. You, 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 as a matter of fact, this is how some of, some of your family members act too. If I don't hear, I, I don't want to go through it. Baby, you're going through whether you like it or not. The point is, and what God has assigned me to do is to help you go through it a little smoother. Because some of you going to have some trouble when them people come. Some of you going to have some trouble because you have been free your whole life. And now you're about to go into something that your ancestors have went into. Oh, y'all don't hear me. That I'm, I'm getting ready to break that down. I'm going to do another one. I'm gonna, I, I got four or five to do tonight. So stick around for those that want no truth. The ones that don't, God bless you. Bye. Y'all don't hear me. This stuff is getting ready to happen. And sooner than later. We don't have a whole lot of time like you think. I know you're thinking. And some of you, oh, they've been saying that for years. That's just what they're banking on. They're banking on y'all don't believe in it. They're banking on you saying, oh, that's just some crazy talk. They're banking on that. Because guess what? This attack would be the element of surprise. And I'm going to tell you something else. That is going to be a lot of people dying. They come in with a vengeance, you guys. They're coming with a vengeance. And who are coming, Apostle Deanna? What is happening? This is the state and the time that we're in. This is his time, says the Lord. The Antichrist must be revealed. The Antichrist must reign. This is his reigning time. So you don't see what's happening? You don't see what's happening? How, how this Russian man going to say, well, okay, take God out of everything? Didn't Obama do the same thing and doing the same thing now? And y'all can't see that because he's black? I rebuke you. No, the law rebuke you. How about that? Because you don't want to see. I don't care what color he is. Anything, oh, thank you, Lord, I hear you. Anything that goes against God, it's not of God. How dare y'all? And yet some of y'all, 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 y'all come on me on Facebook. Hey, ah, because God going to get you. Because you want to stand your smart self in front of God. Because since the beginning of Genesis to Revelations, we all know where the early church were. Anything was against God, they were against God. But we have an early church. A early church, you hear me? A early church, a worldly church, come on somebody, hallelujah, that want to fight for what God is against. Where they do that at? You don't see what kind of trouble you're in already? And you're still playing? I'm telling you, this stuff is here. And my senses, and how I know this is because I, I, I'm very serious. I can barely eat these days. And it's not a fear. It's of just God got me praying. God got me praying. God got me. God got me in the sense of Deanna pray. Deanna pray. Deanna pray. They don't see it. They don't see it. They don't see it. And he'll tell me, get on here and say it and say it. And I, I'm doing it. I don't care what nobody says. I don't care if you don't believe me. But you have to understand, we're in trouble, America. And we must pray. And you and hold on. Prayers of a righteous man avail much. You know what God told me to tell ask y'all? Where are the righteous? Where are the righteous? Because most of y'all running after money. Don't y'all know? Don't y'all know everything getting ready to be destroyed? And y'all still trying to build houses? Oh, come on. Am I the only one seeing this? And woe unto all you bass, you, 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 you bishops that's sitting up there. Woe unto you, apostles. Woe unto all of you that have scattered the sheep, God said. I'm very highly mad at that. You took from God's people, but you never gave back. You took from God's people. And you know the sad part? You're not even preparing them. They still going to their jobs. They still acting like the world's going to keep spinning. When this stuff hit, you will be responsible for all the blood that is shed for every last one God says that's in your congregation that did not know the truth. And that is a thus said the Lord. And yes, I'm very angry. I'm sorry, y'all. I, 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 you got to understand. God showed me so much. One day we was praying. Let me tell you how much God showed me. One day we was praying. And I just bust out crying. And it was, it, it was one of them hard cries. You know when, when, when everything coming and running down. And I couldn't stop crying. And, they, and I couldn't tell them what was wrong. All I could do is cry and cry and cry. I, I, I do feel like Jeremiah in this hour. And, and you know what? Because I saw all the death. I saw all the blood. I saw it. And, 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 and all I could do is cry. I saw all I could do is cry. I said, God. God warn them, God, 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 send, send a spirit, send, send somebody, even if it's not me, God, send somebody over their mouth. When you see so much death, that's why I get on here and I, and I do it with so much passion and then sometimes in the angry form too. Because I see it and God don't lie. I'm 48 and everything that God has ever showed me 
has come to pass. Everything. Everything. I say everything. Y'all sitting up there, I told y'all. I told y'all, fake election. And then finally, y'all understand about that y'all don't really elect. They have they have a, a group that elect the presidents. Y'all just vote. And whichever, supposedly, supposedly whoever win the vote, they'll sway. But they, they really put whoever they want. I, 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 give, I put all the information out there for you. Because I tried to tell you, that's a game. Let me tell you, the devil been playing mind games since the beginning. Look at Eve. Thou shalt shot. Now thou shalt sh sh surely not die. He's playing mind games with you. That man will never see office. That man that's in office where well, it's not a man, that's a that's a beast. That that man, that beast that's in office right there, I promise you. The same one the same ones that y'all say, Oh, I love him, y'all gonna cry. Y'all gonna cry on that day. I'm just being real with you. And that's what does say the Lord. Y'all gonna cry. Y'all gonna cry and I feel sorry for you because you thought you had something. They've been playing you from day one. I don't know why, because I'm not a devil. I don't understand how the devil thinks. I understand how God thinks. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. All I know is that God loves his people. I love his people, and I'm up here telling the truth. That's all I know. Truth be told. I only know what God tells me. Pray. Now, I know a lot of you say, well, how can you're not going to stop it? I don't care what you pray. I promise you. When it comes, you're going to remember. And the reason why I really get up on here, not that you, you care, to be honest with you, and not that you, most of you listen. But I do know one thing about it from a child to now. When I didn't believe something and it did come to pass, I asked God, I said, bring it back what they say. That's why I get up on here. So at that day, at that time, at that moment, at that hour, because we would not have social media, they're going to cut off all phones. As a matter of fact, I keep seeing a blackout. I'll get y'all some generators. They're going to cut off the lights. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm serious. And then you're not going to see me. The next time you see me after all that happened, it may not be in the light that you want to see. I'm just going to be real with you because, oh, oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm, I'm on a list. I, I'm just going to be real with you. I'm on a list. And it's fine. I've been on a list. I don't care. Don't you understand what I'm saying? But I, this is my prayer. God, bring back every word I say so that you can prepare yourself. I keep telling y'all, get, get in a place to where you get so heavy in the spirit that you have a certain, such a wisdom and discernment. Because of the fact that when you have that wisdom and discernment, what will happen is when you meet people. Because let me tell you how they're coming in right now, too. They're sending in people. That's why I really wanted y'all to look at the movie on Pure Flex, New World Order. That guy, he pretended to be a Christian because they was hiding out. He, 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 he was a plant. And he killed the main one. Killed his best friend, as a matter of fact. Well, they had been friends. And, and I'll never forget the part of the movie where the guy said, I trust him with my life. And that guy gutted him with that knife. You may trust, but you can't go in your, in your natural. You're not going to be able to win in the natural because they're very good pretenders. Look how they do in Hollywood. Come on, somebody. Very good pretenders. They're actors. You're going to have to hear what to do and what to say and if it's real and if it's not. And if you don't know the voice of God, how can you move? And I want you all to know something right now. I take hits. Because even as I speak this, I, I, I hear chanting. Not only that, they try to implement my speech too. I'm not lying. I'm getting so attacked lately. The last four lives I've done, I ain't never got attacked like this. But it's okay. Because I know they don't like what I'm saying. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. How real this stuff is. The, the witchcraft have tripled, God said. Tripled. Tripled. Because here's the deal. This is the deal. Because I know you think we're just living in a little world. You're living in two kingdoms. Kingdom of God and the kingdom of the devil. And the only thing is, all these houses and technology, is that's it. That's the only thing between them. And you guys have cannot differ, differ, differentiate what is real and what is not. Well, this is how I do it. Take away everything. And I like we back in biblical days because we are. Which kingdom do you belong in? Do you not know it's a spiritual war? And I'm telling you right now, it's getting heightened. It's heightening. That guy, I don't, I don't know if I said it on the video, but one, th one thing else he said too, that I don't think I mentioned. So maybe I was supposed to mention it tonight, and I'm not lying. Remember about the Walmart? Do you remember that? About yesterday, the miracle, you know, the miracle of God telling me everything? Well, I didn't mention one thing. You know what he said? All of a sudden, he decided to fix his face. He said, Somebody's doing something to you. Oh my God, somebody's trying to hurt you around your house. That man couldn't have known that. There's no way that man couldn't have known that. He said, slang some all. You should have saw his demeanor. He said, they're trying to hurt you. They're trying to do stuff that's not right. 
That man didn't know me from A to Apple. That man didn't know me from A to Apple. But I didn't say it yesterday, but God brought it back to my room just now because I guess I was supposed to say it during this live. And, you know, I knew it was real because, come on, I know it's real. But it became real when he said it out of his mouth. I mean, more real. I was like, <sighs> so today, I'm going to tell you what I did. I ran around this whole property with some ammonia. And my armor bearer was behind me with some oil. Since I know it's real and getting more real, then that means if they want it, then let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. And that's why I pray like I ain't never prayed. I haven't prayed like that like I prayed since 1996. I prayed in here today, honey. Because guess what? It's all or nothing. The devil is a lie. You, 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 might, you might get me in the end. But guess what? Until then, I'm going to blaze this up. I'm going to blaze it up with the fire of God. With the power of God. I mean this, honey. I'm going to like a soldier. And you better do too. You don't hear me. The glory of God is on me. So you have to excuse me tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It, it, the, the, the church didn't got too weak. You know, you didn't got too, you, you didn't got too tempted. You, you want to look good. You want to feel good. But you don't want to be good. And, and I know it's a challenge. Because, come on, I have not been perfect. But I have been faithful. And that's all God asks you. Do your best. Be your best. But to be honest with you, the enemy is always trying to tempt you. Because he knows if he taints you. You have no power. That's why I'll cut off anybody. I'll cut off. In, I'll cut off anybody. And and and, and, I'm, and why are we talking? I'm, I'm going here tonight. I don't even know if I want to get married. I, 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 I'm, I, 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 oh, rough form tonight, but I don't know if I want to get married. You don't hear me because I'm telling you, I'm so endowed because I know I gotta do and I gotta finish strong for God. So I don't know right now. Pray for me because nothing is coming between me and my God. That's just how I feel. Hallelujah. I'm real about this. I love the Lord. He's been too good to all of us. Truth be told, if you go back when. Hallelujah. You're supposed to be dead when you was dead when you was dead. And he snatched you out. Oh, I'm on one tonight. Hallelujah. I didn't expect to see all this, but hallelujah. Mm-mm-mm. And I ain't lying about nothing. I, I just, it's like I can feel what's getting ready to happen. And if it, and, and I can't be distracted. So 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 if something is trying to distract me, I I, I don't know. I gotta pray about everything because I'm not letting nothing distract me. Because guess what? God is seeking people that love him and that will say what he wants them to say. And in this hour, there's a great falling away. People are too scared. I'm I'm too important to the body of Christ. And I'm not trying to be arrogant. I'm telling you what God say. So I I I, I gotta look out for the tricks. Oh, come on, and the treats. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because most of you not. People, people keep coming into your life. You're not even questioning it. Things are happening. You're not even questioning it. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. I, I'm on one tonight. I'm in real form because I feel the power of God, hallelujah. I'm telling you, for the last four days, it's been hard to even eat. And not because I'm depressed or not anything like that. I feel the spirit of God so heavy, I can't even contain it. And I said, God, you're laying another anointing on me. Why? He said, because there's something you got to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah to his name. You guys, you got to understand. This is it. This is about to happen. And I just want to know, will you be like that girl on that movie, New World Order? The strong one who we thought that wasn't going to take the mark, took the mark. The weak one didn't. And I never forget when they were about to kill her. He say, you think you're being noble for God? You know, you're trying to mock God. And all she did was amazing grace and let them chop off her neck and that's why I'm on here believe it or not I am preparing you to be strong in the Lord like no other body you have to you have to be strong in this hour because Satan wished to devour you Satan wished to steal, kill and destroy and he has done enough God said and so God have people positioned to, to talk to you to walk with you, to strengthen you, to have an anointing. Because here's the deal. I didn't even eat before because when I got on here, I said, God, I want to be full of the Spirit. And I'm going to tell you about y'all young comers, y'all newcomers, y'all preachers. Y'all don't know protocol. Y'all don't know the power of God. Y'all don't know God. Because when there's a delivery, you never eat because you want them to have the full power of the manifestation of the Spirit. Y'all don't know God. Y'all don't know God. That's why the people, that's, that's why those things are not breaking in the Spirit. 
So what am I saying? Everybody that listens to this message, you're getting imparted something tonight because I'm telling you there's an unusual anointing on my life right now. I ain't lying. God did something. God did something. God did something. And so you don't understand. Everything is a spirit. So, so it's traveling. Hallelujah. And the enemy don't like that. Because it's going to break off some things. And God going to open up some things. And God going to anoint some things in your life. God going to anoint you. Hallelujah. So time out for the, for the entertainment spirit. Time out for the lying spirit. Time out for the lying prophet. The old, the old prophets that they need to go sit there and renew their life with God. Yeah, I say it because I see things. I'm sorry. I can't help it. There's so many people on Facebook trying to be relevant again, trying to do this, trying to do that. And God said they ain't even right themselves. I'm sorry. Uh -uh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This thing is real. As a matter of fact, I'm finna end this, but I'm finna end with prayer. I ain't playing. I ain't playing no more. Oh, you don't hear me. When I say no more, I'm talking about I'm going harder and harder and deeper and deeper and higher and higher because I'm going to finish strong. Hallelujah. So I'm getting ready to pray right now. For all of you, I want you to stretch your hands toward this phone, computer, wherever you at. It don't even matter because there's a, a, I'm telling you, there's a power on me. And that's go from God. It's not from Dion. Hallelujah. Power, supernatural, dunamis power. There's an anointing. I'm not kidding. It's been on me since earlier when I started praying up in the room with my armor bears. I'm not playing. Hallelujah. 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 Father God, thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. 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 Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come to you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, God. We glorify you, God. We give you honor and we give you praise, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father God, I pray the name of Jesus. Everybody that's in the sound of my voice, Father God, I pray their strength. I pray strength. Oh, Father God, I ask you to induce them mentally, physically, spiritually, Father God. Make them strong in the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Father God. I denounce and renounce every spirit that is not of God. I sever that thing to the end of that thing, to the root of that thing, by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost fire. Oh, the Holy Ghost fire. Oh, Father God, I say, bound it up with Holy Ghost fire. Feathers in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we summon your God. We summon your God. We summon your God. Hallelujah, God. Oh, Father God, supernatural power. Dunamis power in this hour, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Let them be full of the Spirit, Father God. Fire Father God, fire in their mouth, Father God, fire in their belly, Father God, fire in their feet, Father God, hallelujah, God, oh, hallelujah, God, oh, hallelujah, God, hallelujah, God, hallelujah, God, hallelujah, God, hallelujah, God, hallelujah, God, do it, God, do it one more time, God, hallelujah, God, anoint your people, save your people, God, rise up, God, in this hour, hallelujah, like never before, God, oh, hallelujah, God, we come to you, Father God, we decree and declare, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Oh, the fire of God. Oh, the fire of God. Oh, the fire of God. Hallelujah. All his enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, God. Oh, hallelujah, God. I transfer the spirit of the anointing, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Oh, on high, God. Ah, hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, let us send a warrior spirit, Father God. Let them be strong in the Lord, Father God. Bold in the Lord, Father God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Oh, Father God, I decree and declare where they've been weary, where they've been tired, Father God, where they've been worn, Father God. Strength, Father God. Strength, Father God. Renew them, Father God. A fresh anointing. A fresh anointing. A fresh anointing. A fresh anointing. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, God. Oh, hallelujah, God. Oh, we call on your God. Oh, we call on your God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Oh, hallelujah, God. I decree and declare, Lord. Oh, the sons and daughters are rising, God. Oh, God, don't let them be weary. Oh, hallelujah. No fear in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 
Oh, I sealed this prayer with the precious blood of the Lamb. It's the blood. It's the blood. It's the blood. It's the blood. Oh, hallelujah, God, in the name of Jesus. God told me to tell you something. It's the blood of Jesus. 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 It's the blood of Jesus from the beginning to the end. God says it's the blood of Jesus that will save you. It's the blood of Jesus. Every time you get weary, say it's the blood. Oh, every time you get teary, say it's the blood. Every time you feel you can't go no more, say it's the blood. It's the same blood. And I got something to tell you, thus said the Lord. The same blood that was flowing through Jesus Christ is flowing through your body. Oh, hallelujah, God. Oh, hallelujah, God. Oh, hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said, be strong. Be strong. And talk to him. Get closer to God while you can. My God, my God. And woe to you. Woe to you. Woe to you that don't do what God said to do, you lead us. Oh, you think to save your life, God said. Oh, but it's better than a milestone be tied around your neck, God said. He said the blood is on your hands. Oh, some of you going to face death. I'm just telling you what God said. Because you lied to God. You lied to God. You lied to God. You lied. Oh, la, 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 la. Oh, la, 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 la. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 My God. So God bless you. Play this, play this over and over and over and over and over. The moment is so heavy on it. Play it over and over and over. God bless you. I love you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Rule out soldiers. <laughs>